Hi, daughter. <laughs> <laughs> um, you picked a great moment to call me. I am just stepped inside the Carnegie Surgical Research Lab. Research Lab at Johns Hopkins, and there's a guy with a video camera. <laughs> <that I> <laughs> We're in a park walking distance from Johns Hopkins. And I am here because I was surprised in May at an ER visit to find that I have a kidney, a tumor on my kidney. And tomorrow? It and tomorrow? It's the actual operation. 7.30, I'm scheduled to have that tumor removed from my kidney. And the significant part about that is no one else, none of the other five surgeons that I talked to, said they could do it. But Dr. Uh, Dr. Gazi said he could do it, and he found a way to do it. It seems it's been a very long time. Let's do it. Let's do this. Diane walked into my office and started to tell me the story that she actually has a background in healthcare and that she has a kidney tumor, which did not seem too large. However, it was in deep into the kidney itself. It was almost wrapped around arteries and veins and collecting system. And every surgeon that she went to, urologist and very eminent ones, said that I'm gonna remove your entire kidney. That's the safest way to do it. I just did not wanna lose a kidney. I have diabetes and a 50 year history of kidney stones, which I inherited from my father. And I just felt like everybody needs both kidneys, but I, even more so than the typical person because of underlying health issues, needed both kidneys. What's showing from the tumor is only this. In our lab, we have the capacity to create a hydrogel replica, which is a non-biohazardous substance that looks, feels, and reacts like a true organ. And through this, we can have surgeons rehearse on their patients prior to doing the actual surgery. You can see my yeah, hand, right? I know. It goes all the way from the heart down. This is the cava that goes back in. Right. This is your kidney. And what we're going to do is we're going to place it in a We wanted to add a patient factor to this. And so we created an immersive virtual reality experience. And we are able to go over the procedure step by step in this virtual environment with a model, a virtual model of their own kidney with the tumor. And that's exactly what we did in this case. Had I not had this technology, I probably would have done what every other surgeon told her. And so it was changing the way we approach the tumor, different techniques and different approaches, and then looking at the model at the end and being able to appreciate how close I was to the tumor in some areas, I then called her and said, I'm confident that I'm able to do a partial nephrectomy. And she was like, I'm ready, sign me up, we're doing the surgery. The moment has come. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> When I went into surgery, and, and I, I said this to him later, I did not have one speck of fear or nervousness. I was perfectly calm. I knew because of the hydrogel model and the virtual reality, I was 100% confident. We started the surgery and not only were we able to successfully complete that partial nephrectomy, which is only remove the tumor, preserve the rest of the kidney and suture it back up, but we did it faster than what we do a straightforward case. When I was in recovery room, even though I was deeply sleeping, Roger, my husband, who was with me through all of this ordeal, um, whispered in my ear that I had two kidneys. And I remember saying, oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh my God, he did it. He did it. After surgery, Diane recovered very well. Within a day and a half, she was outside the hospital. She didn't have any post-operative problems or complications. Her kidney functions were normal, and she is now living her fullest life with two healthy kidneys. It felt like a new lease on life, you know? I am a passionate person. I have lots of passions. And teaching is one, birding is one, traveling is one. I have a brand new grandson. I have a four month old grandson. There's just so much to do in life. There's so much to learn. I'm gonna help my grandson. I'm gonna try to get plastics out of the ocean. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna learn to quilt. There you go. Never, I've never had time to learn to quilt. I'm gonna learn to quilt. I have a million things I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna be able to do them because of Dr. Gazi.